I'm fascinated by birds, I mean animals in general, but just birds. I just absolutely love them because you have the combination of colour and shape and position and the character and the personality. I don't want the work to be too serious and too depressing. You know, so much of art is, you know, doom and gloom. I'm quite keen to go down the other route and, you know, make it a bit more uplifting, a bit more sort of enlightening. Uh, sketching, doing watercolours, taking photographs of the flamingos and I get back in front of the canvas and just go wild. I love working in a textured way so that's why I prefer using collage and then I sort of build it up to get the right colours. I finish it with pencil. Just use whatever to try and get the result I want to achieve and that's what's really exciting. I think the Animal Art Fair is, is pretty unique in London, in the South Bank, because it's not too edgy. I think a lot of people uh, in the art world in this day and age, and especially spectators, especially people who are on the outside of the art world, uh, are a little bit intimidated at the Animal Art Fair. I think you have got pieces that people can understand, that they can empathise with, that they would want to live with. You see so much art which is very conceptual and I just think it's really nice and refreshing to be, see something where actually what matters is what you see, what the, the result. You just see lots of people who are all interested in animals. Animals are, are great creatures and they make for good subject matter. If you look back through history of art, uh, all the the great artists of the past, all the great paintings of the past, there has pretty much um, been a, an animal influence.